Hey, welcome back. It's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach in Millgrove, Ontario, Canada. I wanted to shoot a new video. This is a uh, 2024 model year. It's a new layout that we've never built before. Uh, it is a twin bed, but first is a rear door twin bed where I should say the door's on the back and the twins are at the front, we reversed it. This particular couple asked to have twin beds, but they wanted to stick with a side door. So we've done it, created a, a new layout, very much like a lot of our other 17s, where they have gauchos in the back and bigger dinettes at the front. So it all depends on what you're looking for in, for in the trailer. Um, it does have all your leveling jacks. It's got your front window up at the front. A new front window, it's got the new awning on it, up above, stand the back, so with your receiver on the back, that if you want to carry bikes and that, you've got the receiver on the back to carry bikes. But let's take you inside, we'll show you some of the features on the inside. On the inside here, so instead of having a little dinette on the side when it's a rear door, we've moved the dinette up to the front, so you've got lots of visibility out the front with a little shelf here. Well, knickknacks putting up at the front and that and this will also go down into a bed and what was this one in at again so 28 it, inch what's 28 inch this is a 28 inch bed so versus our side door when it's a 24 inch dinette this is a 28 so it gives you a few more inches and you have our little knickknack shelf on the front as we rotate around to the back here so what we've got this is i think both 34s we put at the back so this is two 34s by 75 twin beds. Uh, we've left the bunk out. Uh, it's got the base of a bunk, but it's got the little ledge so they can just load things up above it because they didn't want a, a stationary bunk there all the time. It's something that they had asked for. Uh, it does have, I should say, the pantry up at the front here. So it's got old shelves for storing your food and different things at the front. And what we've done is we've done a little hanging closet back here. So they've got a little closet for hanging things and their feet go underneath. It also has your little nightstand here with storage out the back. There's storage underneath the beds. You can also add it with our little snuggle board so that if you wanted to bring these two mattresses together and have it like a king bed back here, you could do it as a king bed again too. Like we've showed in a lot of our other trailers got ventilation all the way around because there's windows that open all the way here you got three windows that open um, they've gone with the, a 5.5 fridge in it so you can do a 6.5 if you want to have the separate freezer again it's a personal choice uh, lots of storage underneath and in the bathroom what we've done in this particular coach is we've done what we call just a mid bath so, and they didn't want a shower. So there's no lip now on the bathroom down here. When you're coming into the trailer, there's no lip to stand over or anything. They still have hot and cold running water and things like that, but they like it that it just has the toilet on board so they can walk in. They did ask for a grab bar in the bathroom here. So I give them a little bit more accessibility as we all get a little older in our life. They have the overhead covered and that for storage in the bathroom. You have the fantastic fan, it has uh, air conditioning. They did opt out of putting uh, a microwave in it, so we've prepped it for a microwave if they ever want to add one down the road. You got your two burner cooktop here with your uh, single sink for the high rise. Uh, we have opted out of the kitchen window because when you get to the little smaller counters, there's not enough room to put range hoods, windows dressings on it there's just not enough room so we've opted out of it it does still have all your drawers with a little storage compartment below so it makes it a pretty nice compact little unit like i said it's a 17 foot or it's a 14 foot floor um and this one i can't remember on the width of it uh 84 does. 84 um we just built so many coaches it's hard to keep them all straight this is an 84 in width so it's six inches wider being that then it gives you two nice big wide beds and they did ask for open areas here for storing things that they didn't have to lift the bed to get at it they could just slide things in and out in this particular trailer when we got it all finished with the features that are on it uh, come in at I think it was 2237 in a dry weight 
which is then makes it very towable for all the vehicles that are rated for 3,500 pounds. By the time you put all your goodies in it, you're going to be probably running maybe 26, 2,700 pounds traveling on the road. Uh, so this is, you know, new for us for 2024. Uh, if you've got any ideas you're looking for in different RVs or you're looking for a twin bed like this and love the side door idea versus our rear door, it depends what sort of suits your bill. Don't hesitate to give us a call. Again, it's Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach. Look forward to your calls or send us an email. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll talk to you soon. Watch more videos down the road. Take care. Bye now.